Is on? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? All right. Take it from the top. Welcome, everybody. I'm Tony Stank, and I'm here with another review for you guys. George, the Marvelous Knight, one of the nicest guys that I know, by the way. He want a salt of the earth type of guy, you know, just really, a really model human being, regardless of what you've seen or heard on half-ass reviews. Half-ass, right? Half-ass? Half-assed? Who the hell names their show half-assed? Anyway, George asked me if I'd come out and do a review on another Stank production armor, the Iron Man Mark VII. And I said, George, it would be my pleasure. Because after all, if there's one thing you can count on, is me pleasuring myself. <laughs> So welcome back everyone. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the content. All right, so in the house today, we have the Iron Man Mark VII suit, arguably the most popular of the Iron Man suits ever to be created by Stank Productions. I created this one as a succession to the Iron Man Mark VI suit, which nobody really likes at all, even me. I mean, other than my obsession with the triangle shape, it, uh, it just never spoke to me the way this one did. You know, even the other guy on this channel, with Seth, you know, that you guys know him, the one with the performance issues, he has the Mark VI in possession. He's had it for months and has yet to unbox it, and he received it as a gift at that, you know, from that other half-assed guy. So, yeah, you know, in fact, what I want you guys to do right now is I want you guys to pause this video, head over to one of his videos, one of Seth's videos, one of the toy hunts or his Hot Toys Lounge, and I want you to type in hashtag free Mark VI. Because I want to see his opinions on that. I bet to Gander that he is just not a fan of that suit. And that's the reason why he hasn't opened it. But I digress. We're talking Iron Man Mark 7. Avengers. This is from the first Avengers movie. Very awesome. I'm glad to have this one in the house. It actually arrived late to me. It got lost in the mail from Sideshow. You know, the, uh, the delivery guy, uh, I think his name was Jim or something like that. You know, he keeps complaining to me about some big guy out in Texas that, you know, gets amazing amount of boxes all the time you know gifts from all these companies to make sure that he can do reviews and uh yeah he's just complaining about his back pains and stuff like that so you know i kind of believe that maybe he stole it but you know it's neither here nor there sideshow was kind enough to send me a second one and this is what we got right here the iron man mark 7. so without further ado i'm going to get out of this jacket get a little more comfortable and we'll get a little look at this box right army all right, so here we are, the Iron Man Mark VII box. As you can see, it's got a very nice glossy red colorway. Love the way they designed the Iron Man here to make it kind of look like uh, specs for one of my designs, which I think is really cool. Almost like it you know, came off the drawing board, which looks dope. You have the Iron Man Mark VII here in a very glossy gold. It's die cast, it's because that is the only way to get an Iron Man suit. It's the best way anyway for me. I'm not really into the plastic. Uh, Iron Man Mark 7 right there. It says die cast again here in a nice textured go uh, gold. And then you got the Iron Man uh, Arc Reactor logo right there. You have all of the credits of all of the famous and cool people that have made this for us. So very cool. And then that's the way it slides out with the Avengers logo on the side. And then we're back to the front. So this one here, unlike some of the Iron Man suits that I've unboxed recently, I just unboxed the 45 suit. This one slides out from the side. The other one had like two parts that come up from the top. This is not the exclusive edition. Uh, at the time that I got this, that was no longer available. So, let me see you there, man. I mean, I think the only thing you get extra with the exclusive is a, a holographic image of the deployment part of the suit. So I don't really need that. So it comes in very nice foam. Mark seven right there. Okay. And then it pops open to reveal the Iron Man in all of its greatness. Look at that. Definitely one of the coolest Stank Productions to date. All right, so let's get everything out of the box. We'll go over the accessories and then we'll do some articulation and get into some posing. All right, so this Iron Man Mark VII comes with a ton of accessories. I mean, the most I've ever seen in any Hot Toys figure that I've had. This is insane how much stuff this comes with. First off, you get a swap out portrait of the master himself, Tony Stark. Check this out. This looks insane. Just a beautiful portrait. He's a handsome man, isn't he? I like the battle damage that they have on him. A little bit of blood right there, some blood on the lip. Battle damage on the helmet. 
looks really good with the scuff and details in that and then these little metal parts inside of his uh, mask they're very delicate but i like that they included that so very cool design to this helmet if you wanted to display him this way you also get a swap out face mask you know if you wanted to have that battle damage face mask look so that looks really neat you have various swap out hands you have the closed fist hand and it has the uh, laser firing off if you want to display him that way you have the closed hand without anything on so you could just have them with a fist you have the repulsor hands with no articulation so if you want to take and just have them with the repulsor hand you can have it that way and then you also have the articulating fingers you can have that so you can have just a little bit more detail in that whole repulsor look so if you want to have that so very cool you also get the deployment option so they have this chest piece right here that has the deployment option and you would use the body to take and uh, create this whole scene of the deployment um, i don't see a reason to use this unless i had the tony stark you know from the avengers that didn't have uh you know the suit on and then you can use it that way this has a uh, switch on here with a light and you can see the arc reactor on this and on the uh, armor itself is is really really nice i, li I like that it, it's just white and there's no detail on the inside of that but it just makes it look a lot brighter this chest plate here can be swapped out onto the uh suit itself if you want to have him looking like he has more battle damage so you can do that too all right and then there's a ton of other parts that go along with this and on the suit itself so like you have um you have swap out shoulder plates that have battle damage on it you have that all right you have the swap out um shoulder section again that, that has the missiles you know like, he, like he's firing off at the chitari during the beginning of the uh, battle of new york so you have that option you have swap out armor plates a bunch of these little things you could take and put uh, all over his armor i have to see exactly where all that goes i'm going to read the instructions here you have the um, scanning device that's on the deployment so that you know it tracks tony as he's falling off the building when uh when loki throws him out of stark tower all right so you have all that you have a ton of batteries which i've already put in and i'm going to show you how that looks the beautiful looking uh, lights on that this one here doesn't come with a uh, crotch holder but it does come with a waist grabber so that's cool and then the gray scrabber has these uh, soft uh, felt areas on the inside so it doesn't damage the, the suit so that's cool i like that all right you get uh some more stuff over here you get the boots to make it look like he's flying so you have uh, some swap out boots and i think these can actually go on the uh, repulse the uh, deployment so that it makes it look like it's flying forward at him you have some swap out leg plates with the uh, missiles like he was firing off when he was battling that Chitari flying monster thing. Uh, you have some swap out gold sections with more stuff there. You also have this uh, swap out arm uh, bracer that comes with the tank missile. Tank missile! Already deployed like that, so that's neat. So that's, that's a cool option to have too. Uh, what else, what else? So much stuff you get another back piece i think this actually probably goes to the deployment but you get that and then you also get these uh, lasers so these attach into the hands which are these hands like that somehow there you go all right and they give you that effect like he's firing off the laser which i think that's really cool i think also would have been kind of neat if they made it where the laser was um was like deflecting like it had like a point where it hits and and then you know goes the other direction that would have been kind of long but i think it would have been neat you know because then you can you know, display him with captain america and make it look like that scene where he lands and fires the lasers off that would have been kind of kind of cool to see all right last thing you get is this awesome display check this thing out this thing is cool pull back a little bit so you can see more of it all right Look at this, guys. This is this has got to be one of the best displays I've ever seen for a hot toy. I mean, it's clean. I love that it's got that uh, New York street on it and everything, and you got the bullets that are uh, on the floor. So that's cool. It's got kind of like a wet look over here a little bit. Lots of texturing. Very very cool. I love the way that looks. And then it's a very elegant looking display also with the with the uh, with the square base and then the plaque in the front with Avengers Mark Seven on it. Now, these points here, I thought they could be lights, 
and then on the bottom there's this there's this opening you know but there's no screw to take it off so i'm not sure that maybe they, they thought it could be or they thought they would make it a light up area or maybe they made it so that you can take and put the led lights there and make it use it as a light i, I don't know i think it would have been a very nice option to have the lights you know aimed forward at you from the bottom up and then that would have been a really cool way to display it but otherwise i mean this is a very awesome uh, display plaque for you to put uh, the uh, Iron Man on. So really cool. All right, that's everything. Let's take a look at the figure. All right, let's take a look at the articulation. There is lots of moving parts on this guy. This is insane how much stuff you could do with it. All right, so you have the head. The head can turn that direction and about that far to the right, but that far to the left. So you can get almost a 90 degree turn on the head, all right? Going up and down, you can have them look way up. That's very cool, I like that. And you can have them look way down. So, great job on that. Very cool. The shoulder plates can move out like this so that you can get your arms up a little bit more. So you can get a almost perpendicular, you know, orientation on the arms, almost 90 degrees. So that's very cool. The arms do pop out a little bit so that you can get a little bit more rotation. All right, so a little more posing. You can get the arms to go way back like that and you can get it to go way forward. So you have lots of movement in the Iron Man arms. Very cool. You did a great job on that. All right, so in the shoulder section, you can get almost a full double joint right there back to his face. So you can get pretty far back on the arm like that. So that's neat. In the, um, it rotates a little bit up here at the top of the, of the uh, bicep. So you get a little bit of rotation on there. Let's see if you can get some rotation on the, no, you don't get anything at the forearm, all right? So there's nothing there. You do get some rotation at the hands. And then on this particular hand, I have the articulating fingers. So you have all kinds of articulation in the fingers. So that's really cool. And then the hand can tilt back and forth. It can go side to side. Lots of play right there for you to make your arms look the way you want it to look. All right, as far as the chest goes, you have to hold it here at the bottom, at the waist here, and you gotta be pretty careful because there's a lot of little parts on here that just clip on. And then what you wanna do is just pull up a little bit and then you get some movement there for your, uh, for your waist section. So now you can take and you can turn the waist. Look at how far you can get. That is nuts. Very cool. And you can go all the way over this way as well. So you can get some pretty good movement right there. All right. You can tilt it back just slightly. These plates back here, they seem to be getting in the way just a little bit. And on, they pop out, but I guess you could pop them out to get a little bit more movement back. Let's see if they can... Uh, I'm gonna have to read the instructions on, whoop, yeah, see, pieces just pop out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of little clip on parts. That's the one thing about this one that it's like, I like it because there's, there's lots of cool little details, but at the same time, I feel like it's just maybe a little too much, you know, because then it gets in the way of, of, uh, of posing. You could tilt it forward like that. All right, so you have some movement going forward. And again, be careful because you can break these pieces off. Okay, there we go, put it back on. All right, so you have some play going forward like that. And I'm sure I can get more. Yeah, you can get a little more tilt. Yeah, so you can get a little more tilt so like he's looking at his junk. <laughs> All right, so lots of play there in the waist that we're gonna get. These side uh, pieces here on the legs, they take and they uh, slide out. First, you gotta take the front one out and then you can move this uh, back one out. Although that one is being a little bit of a, there you go. All right, so that slides out like that and that'll give you some motion to move the leg out this way. So you get full turn like that. You get pretty good turn going back and then you can get your leg going forward like that. There is some twisting right here at the upper thigh. So you have a little bit of play right there to make some motion, okay? In the knee, looks like I left some of the plastic in here. I'm gonna get that out when I go to posing. In the knee you have a double joint so you can get all the way back like that 
very cool. And then at the ankles, there isn't any turning at the ankles, but on the, um, but the sorry, at the calf and the ankles themselves, you can tilt, you can tilt it forward or point it forward. So you have some point that going forward like that. You can go backwards. And as you can see in the actual toes, there's actual articulation right there. There's articulation in the armor plates to allow for a little bit more uh, action like that. So lots of options right there for you to put this guy in some crazy pose. So I wanna get this plate back on that I just dropped off again. This is like the third time this has fallen off on me. <laughs> and then um, we'll get to posing this guy and see what we can get him into, all right? What, did you stop for drive through Swing up park, I'm gonna lay him out for you. All right, there is the first pose. Like he's landing and doing, you know, two repulsor blasts. Uh, pretty neat, all right? I'm digging it. Articulation is pretty dope throughout most of the suit. It works really well. Uh, there are some things that I'm a little, you know, freakish about, like these back plates here. They're supposed to articulate out and you can get like the, um, the flaps opening up and stuff like that. The, when you try to pull them out, they tend to pop out. And then, you know, putting them back in and it's, it doesn't, uh, it, it feels very, very like uh, super delicate, you know? And that, that's what's got me kind of uh, freaked out about it. Other thing too is that, at least for right now, I'm gonna try it out in just a second. The ankles don't seem to want to go side to side. So you don't get good landing on your feet. You know, I'd like to have the ankle, the feet landing flat so that I feel like it's got a lot more balance on it. Right now, this one here is kind of cocked like that. So, you know, it's possible that it could fall, but I mean, you can see it's holding pretty steady. So, uh, looks really good though. I like this pose. So that's pose number one. Let's see what else we could do. All right, here's pose number two. So I got this one kind of like in a flying pose. Uh, I got this off of the XM Studio statue that they have, one of the best Iron Man Mark VII statues I've ever seen. So I, I love the pose. One statue I'd love to own, but never been able to. So uh, that's where I got the idea for this. It's a little bit different than the one that they have. Uh, first of all, you can't get the flaps to articulate all the way back, so they can't come up this way, at least not on this particular one. Maybe there is a way to do it, but so far I haven't been able to do that, so they only kind of articulate out like that. Um, and then the other thing too is that the arm bracers here, they're a little bit tough to get off. Now I did find out that this part here can swap out on either one of them, so I just popped it off and put it on there, but the other arm bracer getting this one off right now, it's a little bit of a chore, so I don't wanna break anything. I'm gonna have to try to play with that some more to get that off, but I really like the way the pose looks. Uh, definitely has some nice articulation to it to give it that, that look. I tried to move the ankles again to see if I can get them to move side to side. I can't get them to move side to side. I don't, I don't think they have that ability to do that, which is I think is kind of a miss. I should have had that option. Uh, but otherwise, still really cool. So let's see uh, what else we can get this thing to look like. All right, here goes my last pose. Looking like he's about ready to take off or you know, looking up at the Chitari as they're coming down on him. He's about ready to launch off in an attack. So that's what I was trying to go for here. I love that you can balance. Look how I got this thing balanced on the toe. <laughs> it's so cool. I never, I can't imagine even doing that with another figure. That's pretty dope. Had this foot been able to articulate and plant flat on the uh, on the base, on the floor, I think that it would, I would be much more comfortable with leaving him like this. Uh, overall, I think this is a really awesome figure. It's got a lot of cool articulating points, a lot of cool different uh, options for uh, posability, like you can lift these flaps up and stuff like that, you know, to give it a little more effect. Uh, and I think that that's really neat. I do think that this has a lot of little delicate pieces to it and it makes it a little bit uh, scary to pose. Uh, I also am not a huge fan of all of the attaching parts that, you know, that come off and come on because as I'm moving it around and trying to pose it, these pieces can fall off on me and it, it annoys me a little bit because I'm like trying to put it back on and it makes it a little bit harder to get it in the pose you want. But I guess once you got it where you want it, you're not going to even worry about that anymore. So, it, you know, that's... And neither here nor there, whether that's a bad thing or a good thing. The only thing I would change is make the ankles, you know, able to articulate side to side. Everything else about this uh, figure is amazing. The portraits are amazing. The uh, paint application, uh, pose, posability, everything about this thing is super, super cool. And all of the stuff you get with it is super cool for the price. At $433, I think this one costs for a die cast Iron Man with all of the stuff that this thing comes with and light up features. 
I don't think you could beat that. That's a that's a really nice deal there. So that's my thoughts on it. As always, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, guys, y'all keep it marvelous.